What's up everybody and welcome to Gaming Weekly, a weekly show I am hosting that is just going to fill you in on all your new gaming news, rumors, information, and things to come in 2012. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, Hooligan here bringing you episode 1 of Gaming Weekly where I just fill you in on everything gaming and what's new. Now the hot topic of the beginning of the year is obviously what is going on with the new consoles, you know, the next generation consoles, the Xbox codename 720, and the PS4. Now, the Xbox 720, I, there is a lot more rumors, there's a lot more rumors on this, you know, next generation console than there are the PS4, even though there are not hardly any details on either one of them. I, personally, and other people in the gaming community, in the gaming world, have speculations that they will be announcing the next generation Xbox and possibly the PS4 at this year's E3 convention in California. Now, the few the few rumors I have heard on the 720 or whatever you want to call it, I know, I know everybody again, I know everybody hates the code name Xbox 720 just because it sounds redonkulous and stupid, but. You know, we can't help it. You know, whatever they're gonna call it, they're gonna call it. it they're gonna, people are gonna buy it. Whatever they can call it some off the wall and that has nothing to do with Xbox, and it would be sold. So now, if the Xbox codename 720 is announced this year at E3, as you know, everything big always is, it should be out this fall uh, for Christmas. You know, they always announce the next big thing, the next big console, or or what have it, at the E3 convention, and then have it out right before Christmas. You know, that's obviously the best time to do it, because, you know, everybody, you know, all these kids are running along, you know, Mommy, Mommy, <laughs> give me the new Xbox, Mommy, it's, it's the new Xbox is out, the, the new PlayStation, Mommy. They all, they all want it. And, you know, once their kids cry enough, they will, you know, go get it. Now... There are a few cool rumors I've heard about the Xbox, and none about the PS4. Uh, I don't, I really don't know what Sony uh, has planned or is thinking or whatever. If they're just gonna try to come from the shadows and destroy the next generation Xbox as soon as they announce the Xbox, or I don't, I don't know what they want to do. Obviously, they are all looking to make leaps and bounds, which people, I've heard a lot of people saying that. You know, the next generation consoles of the 720 and the PS4 are not going to make the leaps and bounds that people would like and would want them to make. And I, I have reason to believe that they're wrong. I have reason to believe that these next generation consoles are going to blow everybody's expectations and blow your mind just out of this world. And I can't wait to see, I mean, I believe that the Xbox is going to step up their game tremendously in the, uh, like, the memory department or the, the capacity, the software capacity, you know, PlayStation has always had longer games. They have the dual layer disc or and the, the Blu-ray disc that allowed them to that allowed them to put 50 gigs or more of game on there. You know, they have these long drawn out stories that are amazing games like Uncharted and Infamous, which I never played. I never played Infamous, but I did play the Uncharted series and it is amazing. And, you know, but, sorry my mouth is still really dry. Uh, I'm trying to do this without picking up water and drinking it because you guys don't want to see drinking water. But, uh, so, and I think they are going to make the leaps and bounds that everybody is expecting them not to make. I believe that, you know, these next consoles are going to be awesome. You know, the graphics are obviously going to be out of this world and nothing like we have ever seen before. Which is why... I, the, I, that's the reason that there are, fuck, I can't get it out of my mouth, the games, you know, there's no big games coming out, there's no innovative games, you know, trying to come out and take over the gaming world, and I believe that is why I believe that these developers have so much more and, you know, information on these next consoles, as in, you know, graphics capacity, and memory, and, you know, Software capacity and everything. I can't, you know, get everything out of my mouth. But I believe once the new consoles 
are announced, which I believe hopefully at the beginning of the summer or whenever the E3 convention is. I can't ever remember when it is. Uh, if you may, if you guys know, put that in the comment section below. I'm obviously going to go look it up after this. But as soon as the new consoles are announced, I believe that there are going to be a lot of commercials, a lot of ads that are going to annoy you on YouTube videos, a lot of you know TV commercials and pop-up ads about new games that are going to be coming out. They're not. They're obviously not going to announce any you know new console games before the console is announced itself. But I think they are going to blow your minds. Next up is the Nintendo. Nintendo Wii U. The new generation or next generation Wii is the, the tablet version. If you haven't seen it, Google it. It's the Nintendo Wii U. It looks like an iPad with little joysticks. And it's supposed to be very innovative. It's supposed to you know have the apps that the 360 and PlayStation obviously have as Netflix and Hulu and... You know those types of things. I don't really play. I personally don't play the Wii. I know people that do play the Wii. I have family that play the Wii, and I, I don't know. I, I play the Wii. You know, I, I like Mario. I still, I still like Mario. As you know, I played Mario on Nintendo, Super Nintendo, or whatever back in the day. That I think we still have somewhere deep in the depths of one of the closets somewhere, but. That's innovative for that's or what's new for Nintendo, and that's really all I have to cover, and my thoughts on the new consoles. I was asked, sorry, couldn't swallow. I was asked if I was going to do anything on Sopa by a friend, and <laughs> Sopa is just one of those things that, you know, I might. I'm not gonna get into it right now. Uh, so there might be a new video on Sopa tomorrow or in the next few days. I personally want to read more about it, even though I know a lot about it. I want to read more of what's going on, like, right now. I haven't read any articles on SOPA in the past week or so. I just know it's very close, very, very close to being pushed through. You know, it's in Congress right now, and that's all I know. So, I'm not getting into it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. This is the conclusion of Episode 1 for Gaming Weekly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for daily gameplay content for Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty in general. Yeah, I will be doing some Black Ops videos hopefully this week. Uh, you know, I still play a little bit of Black Ops, mainly Modern Warfare 3. So for your daily content, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to like this video and give it a favorite. You know, the th old thumbs up button. That will help me out tremendously in growing the channel. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. That that link is always in the description below, which is right underneath my face or wherever the bottom of the screen is down there. And uh, thanks guys for watching. Oh, my shirt. Uh, I didn't show you guys my shirt. It's a shirt that I've had for a while. Actually, it's a bar. It's from a bar in Ireland. I did not go to Ireland to get this shirt. But uh, that's what it is, a tavern in Ireland. But it says hooligan right here. You can't see it. I might put a up close picture of it somewhere around my might be on my on my face but somewhere in this general area of the screen uh, to show you guys that I thought it was pretty cool I didn't notice it actually until about 15 minutes ago when I put this shirt on I was like well now I have to wear this shirt and, you know it's a little Irish shirt and coincidentally my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day so guys thanks for watching that's it that's all I have for you today uh, new video will be up tomorrow more gameplay thanks guys for watching peace